And welcome back, everybody. Hey. 609. We are delighted to have meteorologist Jacob Dickey with us this morning. He came up with this segment that he calls Cooking Up a Storm. Nice. You, you get it, right? Nice. Storm, <laughs> storm chaser. And you've been working with Andrea for, I don't know, a couple of months now. We have. We started the at the beginning of November. Mm -hmm. And we had, I think, eight shows. Uh, we try and do once a week on there. And uh, it's been a lot of fun, but nice. I always love coming to Sunrise to hang on yes. you guys. She's lending yeah. you to us. Yes, yeah, so that's yeah. true. This week, <laughs> so she's like, go yeah. oh, on Sunrise. We'll have a little fun here. So. so we are thrilled to death for two reasons. One, that we get you in here mm -hmm. and not just doing weather, but then you're also making up, you're making some food for us. And you're making Ooh. this morning a breakfast casserole. We are. I don't know why I didn't think about this. We should call yeah. it Sunrise. Sunrise casserole. Ooh, well, it is now. I like All it. those it now names. We'll play with the words sunrise there. Cooking casserole. up a storm. Sunrise casserole. Yes, That's absolutely. what we're going to do today. It's uh, And there's some different ways to have it. We've got the recipe on our website as well. We'll tell you where we can find that mm -hmm. in a bit. But I think. By the, can I just interrupt? Sure. Yeah. We were talking about um, Hanukkah. We, we, thanks to Alex, he, he found out that it is the seventh day of Hanukkah. One more day to go tomorrow. Nice. Hanukkah ends. Anyway, okay. back to what you're doing here. Sure. We're going to get Tell cooking us. here and yeah. uh, start cooking up a storm. Okay. And uh, we got all the ingredients that we need here. So up what we've got up front here is for our casserole, we're going to use hash brown as our base. And then I like bacon, but you can use sausage mm, if you want. You know what I'm going to ask? What's that? Does it come in turkey bacon? <laughs> Ooh, we, we got the real bacon. I'm all about the real ah. bacon, but use whatever bacon you want for that. Okay. Uh, of course, we're going with the cheese on that. And then I like to put peppers. I uh, dice some bell peppers and get the nice color nice. and some onion in there as well. And that's really going to get the flavor. We've got it, eggs, milk, and some spices, it, and it all goes in the crock pot. Really easy to do. This is all crock pot cooking. It is. That's what we're doing with the segment. Uh, part of it was designed to where, as meteorologists, we're so busy with the weather all the time. Mm -hmm. It's always changing. Mm -hmm. And so I usually cook with a crock pot, throw something in, go to work. When I get home, the meal's ready. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are busy. It's nice. just an easy way to do that. Mm -hmm. And very, uh, very simple. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we're all about mm -hmm. convenience on uh, cooking up a storm. Nice. Uh, okay. So and how we're do we... having the sunrise. <laughs> okay, uh, the sunrise casserole. The sunrise yes. casserole. Yes. Sunrise casserole. All right, so we'll get started. What we do is in our crock pot, we just have all the ingredients out. You can buy bacon bits, and I bought frozen hash brown just for that. Um, you can even buy the peppers and onions at the store pre cooked oh, or pre cut. Sure can. So it's very easy to do. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to. when you buy them like that. It, yeah. it is, yeah. Oh, it is, um, but you can cut them yourself or whatever's convenient for you. Mm -hmm. um, and we just layer it in here. So you we're going to go ahead and start doing right. that. The first thing is we'll put a first layer of some frozen hash brown in here. Okay. I'm going to grab a handful. Okay. Th does it have to be frozen? Uh, you shred your you, own if you wanted to shred your own, you could. Mm, okay. um, whatever you want. We just went with the, the frozen for convenience. And, and, and we take the ingredients and just... When you're layering it, how, how about how deep? About an inch? Yeah, we'll put about an inch. Okay. Maybe a little bit more. It depends on your crock pot size. We've okay. got a six quart crock pot here. Okay. And uh, so we're just going to take a handful nice. at a time and sprinkle it on oh, in. I'm getting this now. This is something that I could actually You know, do. if you want to you do the bacon, because yeah, I know how much... Oh, so you put gosh. some bacon in there. <laughs> there we go. Too put bad. some bacon on top. turkey, but it's okay. That's it's right. real bacon. You can put though. a little more than that. We're, we've a got more? plenty of bacon. Okay. There we go. Oh, Perfect. And more, then we'll top it with some bacon. cheese here. <laughs> more bacon. Oh, here. I'll okay, so it's here. a layering process. Is, this is. And what, you just keep this? going. Yep, keep going until uh, you get close to the top. So okay. I'm going to put another layer of hash brown in here. Oh, I mm -hmm. like this. And, this is uh, awesome. So Renee is going to go with the bacon there. Oh. And uh, so she's is putting lots of bacon. Is this good? That's great. Oh, yeah, you're doing great. Okay. <laughs> and the cheese Wise that you're guy. putting on, I see it's a white and yellow. Is it like the Fiesta cheese? I just bought Kobe oh. Jack, uh, but you can buy whatever okay. cheese you want. So there's all Jack. kinds of good Pepper cheese. Jack. Pepper Jack. Pepper Jack. And you could really buy two different kinds of cheese if you wanted. So we're doing that there, and we're going to go with one last layer on here. Okay. I'm just going to put the rest on there, and you can put the rest put of the, the bacon in. the rest of the bacon. Okay. Sprinkle that bacon on in that there. That looks good. Mm. Oh, yeah. Bacon. And uh, we'll put that there. And if you want to add the cheese, okay. Cheese. What I've got here then is we've got a dozen eggs. And I just put it in here, and we're going to add a little bit of milk to make it a little more creamy. So I'll pour my milk in there. Ooh. Just a little bit, huh? A little bit, yeah. Half cup to a cup. Doesn't nothing spe uh, specific or exact. I'm just going to mix it up in here. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've got enough? this all nice and layered in there. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. We're just going to take this to finish it off, and evenly pour it across the entire. Oh wow! And what it does oh. is it'll it'll soak on in. Okay. It's pretty cool. This yeah. Is. Easy to do. Very right, easy. Everybody? This would be something to do the night before uh, That's exactly Christmas, right. uh, on Christmas Eve. Absolutely. So you wake yeah. up, you cook it the night before, and I'll kind of tilt it here yeah. so we can see it maybe perhaps in the camera. Yes, how there we it's, go. Uh, it's there layered go. there, the egg soaks right on top. Mm -hmm. And it's as easy as once you put it in there like that, mm -hmm. you're going to turn it on low, cook it low and slow for seven to eight hours. Kind of keep your eyes on it when you get towards the end there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Put, you know, go to bed when mm -hmm. you wake up, 
it'll smell good. Seven, seven or so hours. Seven to eight hours or okay. so, yep. And so we'll put, put, we got it on low and slow. We'll put that lid on there and let it cook. Nice. And when we come back in a little bit, you're going to reveal the finished product. We do. Product, By the and power of TV magic, we have one ready for us coming up a little bit in the six o'clock show. <laughs> what do we got going on? Do we have, Alex, are we going, no. we're going straight to commercial break? All righty. Right, more sunrise after this. Can't wait. Man, this looks awesome, bud. Wow. More weather after the break. I'm meteorologist Jacob Dickey. I help forecast the weather, and I keep your family safe. I also like to cook. You can join me on mid-mornings with Andrea. We'll be cooking up a storm. Welcome back, everyone. Time now. And now it's <laughs> us on Love sunrise. It. Yeah, Love yeah. It. There's a nice little transition. Okay, oh if goodness. you joined us earlier, we've been talking about. We're calling it the sunrise breakfast casserole. That's right. Mm -hmm. Real quickly, tell about everybody about the ingredients for those that might have missed it. Yep. So we've got hash browns and eggs as our base, and then we added bacon, onions, mixed peppers, mm -hmm. and some spices cheese. and cheese. The most and important. cheese. And you just layered it. It was one layer after Absolutely. another. And let's yeah. make sure everybody can check this out on our website. You can get the complete uh, recipe and directions. Yep. So right there on the bottom of your screen, it's wcbi.com slash cooking stash up dash a dash storm. <laughs> or if you click on community on the top tab there, it'll be cooking up storm with meteorologist Jacob Dickey. Nice. Let it cook overnight. Seven yep. So we did, a, we did a, the magic of TV here. We did seven to eight hours overnight and uh, we're ready to go. I think... I'm not sure about you. I'm ready to eat something. I'm Let, ready we want to try. We, we want to try it. All right, so we'll get that going. Can, can you just tilt it while it's yeah, pretty real, real quick so we'll and, to, and get the camera one oh, right nice. there? Which one are we looking at? This, this one. This one. Okay, we're looking at the one with, with Taylor there. So there we go. So you can see on the inside here, it looks uh, golden brown on top. The cheese is melted. It's a little bit crispy on the edge there, but that's okay. Um, that's when we know it's done, is on the edges, we'll see that cheese is really starting to kind of crisp up a little bit. Crunch it. Crunch it. So I think the easiest way to do this is to simply just take the spoon and dig in. So here we go. We are going to have a beautiful day of eating today. Longhorn is also, Longhorn will join us during the 7 o'clock nice. show over on the nice. CW. Now yeah. here's this, I don't know about you, I like to add a little bit of cheese on top. Oh, I'm from Illinois, and we like our cheese in the Midwest, so we'll put a little bit on top there yeah. for this one. And uh, just to give it a little more color. And okay. Renee, you want to showcase that one oh, as I get one for nice. Steve? Yummy, I'll, I'll go yummy. sans cheese, please. Say it again? Less, no cheese. Oh sure, we can do that. I'm just going to... So, so you can do that. The other things you can do, nice. if you want to put a little salt and pepper on it, this one's for Steve oh there. Gosh. Look at the color in there and how nice. good it looks. Very, very, and, uh, very nice. Uh, very good. It smells good as well. And I always love spinach. We kind of have a little joke oh in the, mor the mid-morning show where you can watch it 9 a.m. as well. I have a little joke where we like to put spinach in things because it's my favorite vegetable. So I snuck a little I spinach in there, get a little green. I love spinach mm -hmm. as well. Me and too. then you could put salsa on it. Absolutely. Oh salsa. Um, or this would actually go really well if you had, say, uh, breakfast tacos. Breakfast uh, tacos. That was an excellent idea. You know, I, I see Alex over fantastic. there. He wants a big bite of it too, I think. Maybe. Can I go ahead and take a bite? Go for it, yeah. That means She's, you she have meets to talk. talk. Okay. Well, uh, Alex. Oh. Well. Here, should I pass one over to Alex? Yeah, can we, Here we go, uh, Alex. Real quick. Give we'll, him some. We'll yeah. get him over in the weather center there, one. Yeah. I mean, this we're passing this out. This really is good. good. This, this is, is really great tasty. for Christmas morning. You can mm -hmm. make this the night before. Santa comes. You don't have to wake mm, up for that. Right. You and you wake up and leave it for Santa. Even that. Yeah. <laughs> well, there you go. Yeah, Santa <laughs> might take a little bite out of this. Before. Now, during nice. the commercial break. Jacob said, look, even if you don't like it, just act like you do. We, <laughs> we, we giggled about that, but I'm telling you folks, it, Renee. It's phenomenal. It's really, it's really, really good. good. Very easy to mm -hmm. do as So well. much. Crock pot's a great thing to use. Mm. Can't thank you, no. Yeah. Thank you we get, yeah. We'll have to come back. We're on mid-mornings. We're on mid-mornings at 9 a.m. Do and weather. We try and do one, once a week, and you can follow mid-mornings on Facebook. Uh, Andre will be posting when we have those next Absolutely. week. And you're going to be helping me give away toys for the Absolutely. toy drive, right? That's right. The be midday on toy drive. Yep. We're going to do that for Christmas. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. All right, we've got more. Uh,